Welcome to Anand Lotus Yoga. Our weekly episodes will be on Kundalini Yoga and meditation. My name is Mansimran Kaur and our host is Master Teacher Hari Nam Singh Khalsa. Hari Nam Singh Ji, when did you start yoga and how did it influence you? I began yoga over 39 years ago, very long time ago. And I began to do yoga to become better within myself. I wanted to be more relaxed, to be able to deal with the stresses of life and to find in myself a calmness and a centered part of me so that I could feel more at ease. When did you start becoming a yoga instructor? I began teaching Kundalini Yoga about 35 years ago and I found that as a teacher it has allowed me to reach so many people to help people learn to relax and to deal with the stresses of their life. How, how do you think this would help our viewers and how will it affect their health? Any yoga is good. Yoga means simply a union of body, mind, and spirit. By doing yoga, learning how to breathe properly, learning how to understand your own body, you can find within yourself a calmness and an easiness and a better way to live, to make decisions which can be smarter and quicker in life. How often do you think Kundalini Yoga should be done? Eventually, yoga should become a daily practice, just as you would do anything else. You can begin your morning with 5 or 10 minutes or 15 minutes of yoga. On our weekly shows, we'll show viewers how they can incorporate these simple teachings into their day-to-day -day life. How do you think yoga will reduce the risk of diabetes or other possible heart diseases? Well, gee, one of the main problems that we face within our bodies and with our health is the circulatory system. Whenever our circulation in our body is poor, then that can create illness. Things like diabetes and other problems and heart problems. When we can exercise, stretch our body, feel the breath of life within us. And in our, in our weekly episodes, we'll talk about breathing properly and how to breathe from our navel point. And how through this exercise itself, by detoxifying the body, then we can see a reduction in certain ailments. Kundalini Yoga itself, and all yoga, is a science of the angles and the triangles of the body. And by doing certain postures with specific breathing, we can then find a better balance within ourselves, which will help the body to heal from ailments such as heart disease, diabetes, liver problems, and things like that. Ancient Yoga is an ancient science, over 5,000 years old, and it has proved beneficial from then till now. So could you give us an overview on what, we'll, what we will be doing in the course of the next episode? In the next few episodes, we're going to learn proper breathing techniques so that we can bring more of that energy into ourselves. We'll do basic exercises of stretching, and we'll also learn how to do meditation. Meditation is simply the art of learning how to keep still. And we'll do some mantra meditations, we'll do some visualizations. Basically, in our programs, we want to be able to show you, our viewers, how in a very short period of time you can learn extremely beneficial techniques that will help you in your day-to-day -day life. That is the strength and the power of Kundalini Yoga. Hi there. Today we will be talking about low back pain. Over 90% of the population will experience an acute or chronic bout of back pain in their lifetime. It's a very common condition how professionals assess and treat. There are many causes of low back pain, such as poor foot, knee, hip mechanics, a weak core, poor posture. Once a team-based approach is utilized to get the back pain out of the pain phenomenon we call, we would go into recovery techniques such as strength training, yoga, meditation, proper nutrition, appropriate footwear. Thank you for joining us. We will be seeing you next week.
Welcome back to the Anand Lotus Kundalini Yoga Show. In today's class, we want to learn the very basics of a Kundalini Yoga class. To begin each class, we tune in and we use the Adi Mantra. Adi means primal or first, and mantra is a combination of sound and sound vibration. As we chant this Adi Mantra three times, Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo, it creates a link between ourselves and the infinity or the vastness of our consciousness. Kundalini Yoga, a beautiful technology, can help us to learn to become more at ease and more present in our day-to-day -day life. To begin with, sit very still, cross your legs. We call this Sukhasana, or easy sitting pose. So in this easy sitting pose, our legs are crossed, and we put our hands to start in a Gyan Mudra. Gyan Mudra is where we take our thumb and our first finger, and we put it together with a slight pressure. The word Gyan means knowledge, and oftentimes you will see people sitting in this yogic pose with their hands in this mudra of knowledge. I'd like you to just bring your spine straight and tuck your chin in just slightly and breathe long and deep from your navel point. Before we tune in, I just want you to relax a little bit. Let your shoulders down. Breathe from your navel point and breathe long and deep. You can close your eyes and if you wish, you can focus your eyes at your third eye point, between your eyebrows at the root of your nose. And this third eye point is also known as the sixth chakra and brings us into the screen of our awareness. So close your eyes down, sit very still, hands in Gyan Mudra, chin slightly tucked in. And before we tune in with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, I just want you to feel at ease and relaxed. As you inhale very deeply, inhale through your nose and feel that as you inhale, you bring in a tremendous amount of light and energy, sunlight. And as you exhale through your nose, just let go of the thoughts in your mind. And take a moment before we tune in to find your place of stillness within yourself. Take this minute, breathe long and deep, and feel at ease within your own self. It's most important that we learn how to keep the stillness. Breathe long and deep. Relax your shoulders, let go of the tension. Take another few seconds. Be very still. And now bring your palms together and begin to rub your palms and rub them vigorously. And keep rubbing, you'll feel the heat. And this rubbing of your palms just helps in the circulation in your body and is good for your heart. And now take your palms and just begin to move them just apart from each other and see if you can feel between your palms this electromagnetic energy. It's the same energy that surrounds our physical body and we call that our aura. So see if you can't feel this energy between your palms. Move your palms in and out for a moment. And then slowly bring these two palms together, feel that polarity of energy, and bring them into your sternum at your heart center. Keep your spine straight, keep your eyes closed down, and slightly tuck in your chin. And we'll begin to do our tuning in for today with Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. And how we do this is that we inhale first deeply, and then we begin to chant Ong Namo, and then take a short sip through the beak of our mouth, and we finish with Gurudev Namo. And we'll do this three times. So let's begin. Inhale deeply. And exhale, let your breath go. And let's inhale now to tune in. 
Om Namo. And a short sip. Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo. And a short sip. Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo. Guru Dev Namo. And inhale very deeply. And hold your breath in for a moment. And if you can, Bring your eyes to the top of your head and bring your tongue touching your upper palate. Hold the breath in. And now slowly exhale your breath out and just relax your hands into your lap and take a moment. And hold this posture now. Breathe long and breathe deeply. And breathe from your navel point. Keep your shoulders relaxed and keep in this stillness. A long, deep breath, we call it. Inhale very deeply, starting at your lower abdominal area. And bring this breath all the way in until your chest just lifts up slightly. And then hold this breath, and then just reverse it. Just letting the breath out. And just practice this first breath technique of long, deep breathing. Again, first by inhaling and bringing the breath up from your lower abdominal area. Bring it all the way up to your chest expands. Hold it there slightly for a moment. And then as you exhale, slowly relax your breath. Let it go all the way back down again, down to the navel point. And this is our first basic and simple breath called long, deep breathing. So we've learned so far to tune in with the Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, which gives you the projection within your own time and space, and to do the long, deep breathing, starting from our navel point and bringing this breath up, and then reversing it to bring it all the way down. In long, deep breathing, the ideal breath to relax deeply is what we call the one-minute breath. And the one-minute breath is when we inhale deeply for 20 seconds, Hold it for 20 seconds, and then exhale slowly for 20 seconds. This breathing technique, or pranayama, brings a life force into the body. When we breathe properly, and that breath comes from our navel point, then the circulation through the prana in our bloodstream, up into our brain, that brings us this energy, that brings circulation into the body system, and helps to relax us. The only way in life that will become at ease, the only way in life that will be able to cope with this fast pace and the stresses we deal with is to learn to relax and to breathe deeply. 
One of the first exercise we'll do today is just to stretch our spine. So bring both of your hands and just bring them over your heart. And bring your elbows closely up and tight into your chest. And using this long, deep breathing, we'll just inhale and twist to the left and exhale and twist to the right. So we're inhale to the left and exhale to the right. And breathe from your navel point. And you can also, as you're doing this exercise, moving side to side. So let's do this all together. Bring your hands onto your heart and bring your elbows into your chest and let's move. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, and let your body twist. Put some pressure on your hands at the heart. Inhale left, exhale right, breathe through your nose. And if you'd wish, you can mentally vibrate the mantra, Sat, as you inhale to the left, and Nam, as you exhale to the right. Sat means literally, literally truth, and Nam means name or identity. Sat Nam means I live in the truth of my identity. And as we twist back and forth, just for another 20 seconds, feel the breath at your navel point. Let the breath come through you. Move your body so that you can begin to stretch your spine a little bit. Just another 10 seconds. Let your head lead the way so you get a bit of a stretch in your neck. And just continue twisting side to side. Five more seconds. And now inhale very deep, keep your hands onto your heart, close your eyes, lift up, hold the breath in, and then gently exhale and relax your hands down into your lap. Take a moment and again relax your shoulders and breathe long and deep. Remember long deep breathing, we begin first at our navel point and let the breath rise into us, hold it slightly just for a moment and then relax it back down again, reversing. In our next exercise, I would like you to put both hands firmly onto your knees, and we're going to do a grinding motion, sometimes called a Sufi grind. If we begin just by inhaling and coming forward, and exhale, and begin this grind. And as you do this exercise, inhale deeply as you come forward, and exhale as you go around and breathe again from your navel point. It's very important that we learn how to breathe properly from our navel point. There's a saying that if our breath is shallow, then our life becomes shallow. When we breathe from this navel point and we do these grinding exercises and other movements, do we then allow the circulation of this pranic energy or life force energy to become circulated within our body system? We have what's called prana, which is the life force breath, and what's known as apana, which is a eliminative process in the body. So prana is that which moves upwards and brings us that life force, and apana is that which we eliminate. And the balance of that comes from our navel point. So continue another few seconds, now reverse the direction and come around the other way. And this is very good for our digestion. When we move that lower abdominal area, it helps with our lower back, it helps our internal organs, it helps us with the digestive tract, it helps us in the intestinal tract, and again strengthens the abdomen itself, which then allows a more frequency of your breath. Now finish by coming forward, inhale deeply, and hold the breath in slightly, lift up, tuck your chin in. And then as you exhale, relax down, let your shoulders relax down and take a moment. If you wish, you can close your eyes and feel this energy within. Take a moment and feel this energy. And now still with your hands on your knees, simply inhale and raise your shoulders up. And as you exhale, roll your shoulders back. So inhale now. Bring your shoulders up and bring your shoulders up to your ears. Roll your shoulders back and do this very moderately. And just feel that as you do this exercise, you're just relaxing your shoulders. Inhaling up and bring your shoulders up as high as you can. As you exhale, roll them back. And feel 
the stretch in your shoulders as you roll them back. These today we're just learning very simple exercises. But these exercises are very effective. Remember to breathe from your navel point. I'll keep reminding you of that. And if you wish, you can mentally vibrate Sat as you inhale and Nam as you exhale just for a few more times. But feel as you do that you're lifting up and bringing your shoulders back. And stretch out. Continue another few seconds. And now reverse that and bring them forward and rotate them forward. Again, just for a few seconds. But lift them up. Some of you may feel that you haven't lifted your shoulders in many years, so lift those shoulders. It helps to get rid of a lot of tension in your shoulders. And now just continue with your hands on your knees, but start to shrug your shoulders. Inhale them up and exhale them down. And use a good breath as you inhale up and exhale down. Good. A couple more times. Do it a little quicker, just for a few seconds. Increase your pace. That's it. Lift them the shoulders up. And now inhale and squeeze. Hold the breath. And open your mouth as you exhale. Ah, and let it out. Good. And one more time. Inhale very deep. Lift up. Open your mouth and let the breath come out. Ah, and close your eyes down. Satnam. We all have a natural desire in our lives to feel happy, healthy, and to feel good. Kundalini yoga and meditation is a gift that brings us closer to our fullest vitality. For information on our classes, our schedule of events, and to contact us, please visit our website, anandlotusyoga.com. We look forward to seeing you. Satnam. And now just bring your chin to your chest and start rolling your neck in gentle circles. Inhale as your head comes up and exhale as your head comes around and through. Again, breathe from your navel point and be sure that you bring your ears to your shoulder, not your shoulder up to your ear. And stretch your neck very gently. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension in our neck and again it restricts the blood flow into our brain and the circulation within our body. And now reverse the direction and come the other way around. And again, very gently stretching your neck. Breathe from your navel point. Relax your shoulders and feel at ease. Take another few moments. And now inhale deeply and bring your head to the center. And exhale and relax your breath. We'll finish today with a simple guided meditation to help you relax more deeply. It's very important in this life that we learn to relax. I say oftentimes that we can live in peace or we can live in pieces, that it's our choice to make. So sit very still now Bring your hands into Gyan Mudra, thumb and first finger together. Relax your shoulders. Breathe long and deep from your navel point. Remember long, deep breathing. Close your eyes down. You can sit comfortably in a chair or with your legs crossed on the floor. And breathe long and deep. And start by relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your chest. Relax all the muscles of your spine. Relax your navel point, your diaphragm and rib cage. Just relax, let go. Feel that you can just become very still within yourself. Relax the fingers of your hands, your palms and your wrists and your elbows and shoulders and shoulder blades. As though if you were to inhale deeply and fill like a balloon and as you exhaled, to let the breath out, that you become very loose and relaxed. 
Now relax all the muscles of your neck and your jaw and your mouth and lips. Let your face relax, your cheeks. Let your face open and your eyes and eyelids and eyebrows and your forehead and scalp and hair. Feel the stillness. Be at ease. Go very deep inside of yourself and find within you your place of peace, contentment, and rest. You may feel yourself enveloped in a beautiful light. And inhale now very deeply. Raise your shoulders up. Exhale, lower them down. And just bring your hands out in front and shake your wrists and shake them out. And just shake yourself and loosen your body. Just loosen, shake your shoulders. Shake, 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 shake. Inhale, stretch up. And relax. Keep your eyes closed and sit very still and enjoy. Thank you everyone for joining us this class. Thank you Siri Banikor. Thank you Harinam Singhji. And we look forward to seeing all of you next class. Satnam. I am bountiful, I am blissful, I am beautiful, I am, I am bountiful.